violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's get into the video. We have some breaking news in Pasadena, and that's where a child has been shot and is in critical condition. Air 7 over the scene in Los Robles Avenue a short time ago. Police say the driver of a vehicle flagged down officers and told them that he had a gunshot victim inside his car. Wow. And this is in Pasadena, which is supposed to be a decent place, or it used to be. And you got demon time activities going on. I mean, this crime surge is way out of control all throughout California. Police also received a call of shots fired in the area, but investigators say it is not clear if the two incidents are related. No word on the age of the gunshot victim. Police say that victim has been taken to a local hospital. We are following breaking news right now in Gardena. LAPD on the scene of a deadly shooting. Air 7 HD is live overhead. Chris Christie, you have the details. Yeah, Colleen, this is a wild story. Apparently, that victim's vehicle coming to a stop at Redondo Beach Boulevard and South Vermont Avenue after she was shot a short distance away from here. Wow. And that's crazy. That's two shootings on the streets in California, same day. I mean, people are getting hit up like crazy. And it's not slowing down anytime soon. That's why people are fleeing California at mass because these liberals have no idea what they're doing and they're destroying the whole state. And all you can do is just sit back and observe and hopefully other states learn from their lesson. Apparently somebody else was in the car as well, but a stranger stepped up to the vehicle, fired shots through the window, killing that woman who apparently is lying next to the car and a major homicide investigation now underway here in Gardena. A breaking news update in the search for the killer of a UCLA student. She was fatally stabbed inside a furniture store in Hancock Park last week. LAPD has identified the suspect as Shaw Laval Smith. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. Homeless man. Sean Laval Smith. 6'3", <laughs> 190. <clears throat> born in 1990. This is a grown-ass man on the streets. Able-bodied man. And people going to say mental illness and all this. He do look crazy. His brother look crazy. Or this gremlin, rather. <laughs> he looked crazy. Sheesh. I hate it for that girl, man. I really do. Her and her family, wild. These images of the suspect were released today by the LAPD. Also, surveillance video from a 7-Eleven showed the suspect about 30 minutes after he stabbed 24-year-old Brianna Coop. by this. Yeah, Courtney and Glenn, with the $50,000 pledged by the city, along with private donations, the reward is now up to $250,000 for information that leads to the capture and conviction of this young woman's killer. This, as at the police station here today, they revealed new details and also new security video of that suspect wanted in connection with the stabbing of the young Pacific Palisades woman at the La Brea Furniture Store where she worked. Wow, they offering 250k for this young white girl. Um, if you go through my channel, you see what they're usually offering: five, ten thousand. Um, and I'm not saying this is uh, racially charged, but <laughs> it's 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 crazy. They want this guy bad. And honestly, why would you offer that much? Because it can't be that hard to find a homeless dude. I mean, he couldn't have gotten far, right? He couldn't have gotten far. But this is where we're at 
with it. The homeless issue has gotten so bad. You got random homeless super gremlins walking into high-end uh, furniture boutique stores and being able to stab a woman to death. That is different. The whole city of L.A. is on demon time. In many ways, she embodied everything that is great about Los Angeles, and the entire city should grieve over this senseless act. Those words read on behalf of the family of Brianna Cooper, a 24-year-old woman police say was randomly stabbed to death while working at a Hancock Park furniture store last week. Authorities today pleading with the public for help. This individual responsible for this vicious, senseless, and... Wait, this dude was buying a vape pen. Brutal furniture store last week authorities today Hold pleading up. with the pu public for help this in this man is buying buying it looked like a, maybe a black and mild or a vape pen 30 minutes after he killed the girl <clears throat> these dudes they don't give a they don't care bro that's a super gremlin for you Kill a random white girl, then smoke a black and mild. Sheesh. Individual responsible for this vicious, senseless, and brutal crime. It walks amongst us. Investigators say Cooper was alone inside the Croft House furniture store last Thursday when the suspect came in. And at 1.36 p.m. She sent a text to a friend letting her know that there was someone inside the location that was giving her a bad vibe. And uh, at uh, 1.50 p.m., a citizen who was coming into the store, a customer, uh, found Brianna lying on the, on the ground. Wow. Listen to what he just said. Lifeless, and letting her know that there was someone inside the Croft House furniture store last Thursday when the suspect came in. And at 1.36 p.m., she sent a text to a friend letting her know that there was someone inside the location that was 1 36 p.m. was giving her a bad vibe and uh at uh, 1 50 p.m. by 1 50 by 1 50 14 minutes later super gremlin was able to get off and bounce it can happen so quick bro a citizen who was coming into the store a customer uh found brianna lying on the on the ground lifeless covered in blood afterwards this surveillance footage allegedly capturing the suspect casually walking out the back door down an alley and police say this new footage shows him at a 7-eleven that same day authorities say these dudes so dusty bro this dude got a dollar and some change these dudes is so damn dusty I mean, you cannot make this up. Super Gremlin at his finest. Say he was walking out and about in the area before. Yep, I called it black and mild. And after the attack. Where he visited businesses up and down La Brea and along the Beverly Corridor as well. Businesses large and small. He was last seen wearing dark clothing, a backpack, and a painter style face mask, described as six foot to six foot five and thin with braided hair. Authorities say, based on evidence at the scene, they believe he was homeless. The victim's family today revealing more about Kupfer in a statement. Brianna, who was born, educated, and was building her career here in Los Angeles, was a rising star in this community. Police say they don't have a motive. It doesn't appear anything was taken from the store. Also, when Cooper sent that text to a friend about the bad vibe she was getting from the person in the store, police say, unfortunately, that friend did not see that text right away. Dang. And we all know on this channel that you don't need a, a motive. A, a super gremlin doesn't need a motive to kill you. There. Oh, no. Oh, no. A reason? No, <laughs> that's why they call it senseless, because it doesn't make sense. This is how these super gremlins operate. And people are going to be advocating for, oh, mental health, mental health this, mental health that. Nah, that brother need to be 
keep calling a brother. That gremlin <laughs> need to be put down. Yeah, you know I mean, straight up. Also, that surveillance video from 7-Eleven, police tell me that was from 30 minutes after the attack. Anyone with information is asked to call the LAPD West Bureau Homicide Division. And from here at the LAPD station, Mid-City, that's the very latest. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you. And this is breaking just minutes ago. We've learned the man accused of killing his mother and grandfather in Fresno County has been arrested in Los Angeles County. What did I just tell y'all? You could be family. These super gremlins don't need no reason. You could be family. This man done killed his mama and grandma. And this is breaking just minutes ago. We've learned the man accused of killing his mother and grandfather in Fresno or grandfather. Fresno County has been arrested in Los Angeles County. Authorities have been searching for 25 year old Ramad Park for nearly two weeks. They Dang, and he got off <laughs> two weeks and he's gone. This man's head, bruh. If I ain't never seen no egg head, bruh. That man got an egg head. Woo. That's crazy. Because he's like a year younger than me. Bruh. Killed his own mama and granddaddy. Demon time. They believe he murdered his 58-year-old mother, Melba Abdelaziz, and 90-year-old grandfather, Mel Abdelaziz. Park was booked into jail in Van Nuys on Sunday. Just two days earlier, family members pleaded for him to come forward during a news conference with Fresno County law enforcement leaders. The victim's bodies were found at a home on Tularian Peach on January 6th. A motive has also not been released, but... Wow. So, on the anniversary of January 6th, instead of covering... This super gremlin who killed his own mom and, and grandfather. CNN was covering the anniversary of the insurrection. <sighs> what a joke. But relatives say Park suffers from mental illness. He's now being held on a $2 million bail. Stay with Action News for updates on this breaking story. Homicide detectives with Fresno County Sheriff's Office are seeking the public's help to locate 25-year-old Ramad Carell Park. He may be transient and is known to frequent the city of Fresno and Los Angeles County, specifically the communities of Santa Monica, Van Nuys, and Sherman Oaks. On the morning of Thursday, January 6, 2022, deputies responded to a call of an injured person located at a home on the 5100 block of East Tulare Avenue in Fresno. Deputies discovered a deceased man in the front yard and a deceased woman inside the home. Dang, this man killed his grandfather in the front yard. Left his body out there. These super gremlins, like I said, you don't need no reason, you don't need no motive. This is demon time at its finest. During the course of the investigation, detectives determined Ramad Park was responsible for killing these two people who were his mother and his grandfather. We still love our brother, Ramad. Lord have mercy, not little sus coming in talking about some we love our brother. Oh, God. Come on, sir. You can't be serious. The reality of the matter is mental illness is truly real. With all your help, please help us by sharing any information with the police and with the Fresno Sheriff Department. Ramad, if you are watching this, please just turn yourself in. We, we love you, and we just want you to get the help that you need. The help that he needs. And I know his family. I know it's touchy. But you see, th this is the mentality that I be talking about with sisters. They still want to love on the, on the super gremlin who is so deep in just demonic influence. 
that he 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 can't even bro do you know how sick you have to be to kill your grandfather and your mom and a whole bunch of black people in community they'll say oh well killing your parents is a white folks thing like that's the white people stuff no <clears throat> we've done multiple stories on parents killing kids and kids killing parents in the black community it happens more with us than probably anybody else and it's sad it's horrible but until we actually put a magnifying glass on it ain't nothing gonna get done we do forgive you at least i do yes it hurts already forgiven that's crazy that's crazy. Nah, nah, bro. Nah, he gonna have... <laughs> they they the type to to ask for him to get bail. They the type to ask for him to c come back to the family event. They, they probably want him to come to the funeral, bro. Like, at least let, at least let your, your parents get laid to rest. At least let your parents get laid to rest before you talk on all that forgiveness stuff, please. Yes, it hurts, but we are family and I, like Amanda, state, please, if you are there, if you're listening to this, please turn yourself in so, yes, you can get the help that is available to you. And please, to the community, please help us. Look at the Hotep husband. Hold on. Hotep husband. <laughs> Hotep husband don't know what to make of this. He's just keeping his mouth shut at this point. Please, to the community, please help us find Ramad. Basically, I'd like to get a message out to you, Ramad, to, to let you know that you are not alone. I know that you are frightened, scared, and have no idea what's in front of you. Bro, that man, come on. He don't give a damn. To kill your mom and, and granddaddy, he probably, it didn't even process to him. He was just like, oh, well, probably. Especially if y'all saying he got these types of mental is issues, it, it wasn't even phasing him. I would like for you to know that we are with you. We care for you. We're praying for you. And we will be by your side as much as we can help you out. Dang, that's crazy. They're going to be putting money on his books. Yo, mama and granddaddy will be rolling in a grave, especially granddaddy. So please come forward and we will all solve this together.